Okay, so something else that's a cool thing to add to your level is like a different type of trees. And today we're going to look at the foliage brush. And I'm going to show, there's different ways to use it. I'll show what I kind of do. So you add it to your project, which we've already done this. And you click your project and, and you add it, which I already did. And one of the things I like to do when I add something new is I come and right click on it and give it a color. So I'll give this one a new color like blue. So because there, this allows me to know these are the things that I probably either added or want to use. Okay. So now normally this is what you would see. And so inside of here, there are, there are both rocks and foliage. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to open the foliage and I'm going to open the assets. So here are all the cool trees that I could use. So now you could just click and drag them one at a time. Uh, that's take that's work, you know, and if you have a big world like we have You might not want to do that. So what we're going to do under the same places where there's landscape there's foliage and what you can actually do is Drag a couple. I like to Pick the ones I want to use. Let's say I like this one and this one. I Like to do them one at a time Okay, so here are the settings you should look at so I'm gonna move this over so you can see there's the density setting, which is how dense do I want things to show up on the screen? And what size is my brush? It's probably about this size normally, but like let, if you make it really big, you, you can paint a lot more. Okay. So let's, let's make it about 1600 or so. And if I click on it now, okay, it does this. Well, that's, that doesn't work. So what we want to do is come down here. Density, I'm going to go 10 and let's try 10 and 10. So this is per kilometer and this is how close they are to each other. Uh, so you see that looks pretty good. So I'm happy with that. Now there's a problem with this. If I press play now and my character, I don't know how far he is. If, if he goes to run into those trees, he's going to walk right through them. So I need to adjust this. And I want to just check something. Are they floating in the air? No, they're, they're pretty good. So I could probably leave this uh, like that. So I'm going to press escape. But you saw that. How, so that's not working. So I'm going to go control Z. And down here, I just need to do a small change. So I'm just going to, whoops, control Z. And by the way, you got to do this right because otherwise you got to add the collision after. And it kind of is dumb if your character can run around and run through trees. So now that I did block all, it should be fine. Okay. And let's do a quick, I'm going to just go close to the character just so I don't have to run as far. Click play. So let's just run. And now I should hit the tree, which is exactly what I want. Now I want to show you something else that we need to fix. So let's pretend you wanted to put trees on your mountain, which there are a bunch of settings you can play around with. Uh, one of the ones is aligned to normal. The normal is what angle is this? So if you looked over here, uh, I'm just looking for it right now. Where is the align to normal? It's a placement, it's under placement. So look what happens when I place a tree on here. Um, it's kind of. Right now, it's because they're not, I'm going to keep placing them until, well, you see some of them are crooked. So I don't want that. That's completely crazy. That There's never a tree that's grown that way ever. So go control Z, Z, and Z, and just uncheck this, and they'll, they'll go straight up. You see? So that's how you fix that. And I want to show you one last really cool thing that you can do. So let's say I, I'm like, okay, I got normal trees, but in this part of my world, the trees have turned to gold. Okay, I'm going to just use an example of gold so I know we have that material in our player content. So override material right here. So we're going to click plus. I'm going to click yes. And I'm going to go to my content in my starter content. And I'm going to select a material. I'm going to select gold. I ah, just drag it in there. It's probably easier. Let's do that. Whoops. I didn't want to open it here, so I'll just drag it in, drop it. 
Okay, so now look what happens when I'm going to paint. So you're going to see something. Now you can pick any material, but what it'll do is it'll take the major part. You got to test because different packs will work differently. And there you go. I have golden trees now. Oh, well, one thing I just noticed is if you don't want your old trees to have the same, what you would have to do, I think, is do it. I'm not sure. We'll figure it out. And maybe just use a different tree that's green instead. And then, you know, that's probably the easiest workaround. All right. So if you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, 